Hello everyone, Spectre here. Welcome to Star Citizen. Today we are going to take a look at this Origin 600i. Yes, I got this ship because of the free flight. Uh, I didn't buy this ship in game, nor with real money. But yeah, it's the last day of free flight anyway, so I'm going to take a look at it. Alright, so let's take a look at um, the ship. Like, uh, how does it look like it? Like outside from the outside, I can't tell anything from the outside. Uh, or I can tell you is like you got a laser cannons in here, uh, but it's not the full screen of the ship because this ship is kind of big. Thus, uh, all the weaponry or like important parts would be like kind of um, at the top of the ship, so I can't really tell much things about it. The only thing, um, I, I won't say the only thing, but the only few things that I can tell about the ship is you've got two kind of access points. One is a big elevator, the other one is a personal elevator, so it's for people only. Yeah, so you've got one is for like uh, vehicles, and the other one would be for like, um, for, I don't know, like, uh, how to say, like, uh, for. For, for person, for people, all right. But here you can see there's a gate. Uh, you can get like a gate or something like that. Yes, this is a turret anyway. So uh, later on I will show it to you. But anyway, yeah, you have two ways to call um, your way up there. So first with these big one, it's for vehicle, of course. So you can fit like a mining rock here. I mean mining rock like uh, not really uh, it's a mining vehicle okay that kind of rock okay so let me call it back up first I don't need that yet all right so the second one is uh, one that we're going to use it's a personal one for people I mean okay so the design of the ship is kind of cool at least it's not as buggy as uh, like uh, the C2 or like a Hercules var variants because the Hercules variants you can see uh, sometimes when the elevator comes down this kind of pillar thing is not going to come down like they, they're not sync like uh, they're not coming in all together so it turns out your elevator in like uh, on the Hercules series of ships you kind of like floating downward um, it gives you some sort of alien feel, but not for 600 high. This is good for me. Okay, we are going to start from the outskirt first. I mean, at the top, top, top um, floor, the top deck first. Why I can see? Can you see that? My armor is glowing, by the way, for some reasons. Oh, never mind. Okay, so straight ahead, you got three escape pods. Uh, these are the escape pods for the crew members who are at the bridge yes because you got three seats so three escape pods is reasonable in here is a control like the bridge the pilots in here and uh, or captain I should say and co two co-pilots in here the co-pilot you can ask him to control a few things first if you switch on power, Weapons you, active. yes, you got a lot of things like uh, how to adjust your power towards your weapon, shields, or engines. Or they, you can ask them to kind of controlling like um, missiles, maybe. Uh, the most important features of this one is remote turret. Uh, is it familiar? Yes, it is. So uh, this one is like it's glitched out, I think. But anyway, um, this is the point that I just showed to you. Is a tur, uh, is a turret down below. Okay. So to cover your belly and also um, the back or the front of the ship, you can ask him to kind of provide um, fire support while you have like three size 5 laser cannons, fixed five, size 5 laser cannons and uh, you can ask your co-pilots to assist you 
but not for this one. This one. Although you can still access to uh, the things that uh, you. Uh, Core system deactivated. Yeah, you can access the same thing that that copilot can use, but uh, the remote turret is at the top. So you can cover your your the top and uh, the back of your ship, but not really straight at the front of your ship. So it means that uh, you provide limited uh, fire angle, fire arc from the ship uh, from, from this uh, not ship but uh, like turret. Oh, by the way, you can fire missiles anyway. So yeah. Yeah, as I said, you can fire missiles. Uh, asking your cobots to help you to fire missiles while you're controlling the ships. Of uh, your ship, here is a pilot seat. You've got more things to access. Okay, so you have 16 missiles, as you can see. All right. So um, and you got three size three. I mean, size 5 fixed cannons, laser cannons, that's a very good plus, as a firepower. The view from this cockpit, um, not cockpit, but bridge is very nice. But I want to tell you, if you talk to them, uh, if you talk about like how to control the ship, it looks like a constellation, so you can't expect it to be very, very mobile. As uh, you've got three size 5 fixed weapons facing forward. You may have a hard time to hit like small craft, and uh, if you want to hit a bigger ship like a hammerhead, mm, you may still struggle about it because the hammerhead got more kind of like firepower and protections, and this ship got less firepower and uh, like smaller shield, not smaller but uh, like less protection from the shield. So you kind of struggle in combat a lot but anyway i won't suggest you to use it for like a uh, long term like long time engagement to the an with the enemy yeah so it means that see no threat or something like that then uh, well you may better watch it uh, you may want to stay a little bit like further away from the enemy instead of like getting too close Okay, so here is one of the things that I don't like about this ship. It is the space. I don't know why they create such a large space while you got like, what, three people in here? Like, you can cut this thing in half to do the same thing. I don't know why they design like this. Yeah, I really don't understand. But anyway, let's move on. All right. So the opposite side of the bridge is the scanning room. You got a hologram of the planet, which I don't know where am I. You got a very good glass in here, which you can ask your crew member to look down there when you are loading up your cargo. Or no, not cargo. Maybe in the future you need to like load up your cargo by yourself, like uh, using this uh, big elevator. But yeah, if you lower your elevator, someone got up here like strangers you can know it yeah because you can look down there um yeah you can look like observe the whole process so it's a good plus here's a glass no worries but i won't suggest you to stand on here during um like the ship is moving when the ship is moving because like i don't know what kind of bug will occur yeah you can try it by yourself but if everything uh, if something happens to you don't tell me all right no need to tell me. Keep it to yourself. Let's move on. It's a scanning room. Oh, sorry about that. Um, currently, the scanning thing is not useful. So, this one just provides like two more extra seats for your friends, I think. So that they won't be able to like bumping around. Okay, let's move on. Uh, before we move on to the elevator downstairs, I can like kind of look at the back of a ship. Here is a very good view of as a bar. You got what? Alcohol. Oh, fair warning. In 3.15, uh, 
uh, alcohol will affect your character, so uh, please don't drink too much when you're flying your ship. Before you fly your ship, okay? Uh, you, you may crash your ship because of alcohol. I don't know, but uh, yeah. What is this? Oh, Blackbeard. Is this one kind of friend? I don't know. But it says like, aged 15 years. I think it's expensive, by the way. 15 years, right? If I, even I don't drink a lot, but I do think 15 years is quite, you need to spend like a lot of money to buy something like uh, aged, like 15 years. Uh, don't tell me it's 150, uh, 51 year. I don't know what's that, but anyway, yeah, no worries. It doesn't matter because we can't drink right now. Okay, so uh, yeah, you can ask one of your crew member or your friend to act like a bartender while you're sitting in front of it to drink. In here, it's a very good view. When it's at night, it's perfect, I should say. And your turret is right here, actually. So uh, if you kind of like uh, having your turret there, then it can like cover your six. So you can sit there like uh, without any problem or you don't need to worry about it because uh, the turret we got the back okay let's move downward okay so oh by the way this design you um, I think CRG need to like rework it because it's kind of hard to tell which side is cross like this side is yeah I know you try to put this origin thing in here to warn people this is glass but Come on, like, the lighting is not that perfect, right? And sometimes people may miss it, so they would just like ram on it. Yeah, so they need to rework it a little bit. Okay, so, in here... Okay, so, everyone, you got coffee in here, alcohol, more alcohol, and uh, in here, what's this? Water! So, except for alcohol, you still have water to drink. That's a good plus for me. So it means that your characters can stay in the universe, I mean stay in the server for longer time. Uh, as same as your like NPCs in the future or your friends. And you've got some uh, machines that is not functional at all. Something goes wrong in here. But you can make food. Is it a watermelon? Yes it is. Alright, so you can eat and drink in here. That's a very good plus. And you got a bridge. I like it. But it's not functional right now, so anyway. You got some entertainment in here. No worries everyone, no chess in here. So it means that if you move around the ball or like move around things, it won't have some um, holes on the ground. Yeah, if you know what I'm talking about then yeah, if you don't know, I will talk about that ship later. In here, it's a server room. And in here, okay, is something like a ship component. Yeah, you can access them. So this is just like a, like you can open it and then you've got a very big thing in here. I don't know what kind of thing is that. I'm not very good at like, uh, figure out what is kind of, like what kind of component is that. But anyway, it's a component or server. Come on, open the door. Thank you. Um, yeah, this is identical to the right hand side of the ship, or maybe left hand side. Yeah, but anyway, so it's identical. So this room can access to the component as well. Okay, let's move on. Move back to upper deck here. Thank you. Okay, in here. Well, maybe your crew are like enjoying themselves and uh, they got drunk. No worries if they got some conflict. Simply get your guns. And if your like four guns is not enough, how about eight or maybe more? I don't know. And uh, after three point one five, I hope, um, or maybe after they rework it, I hope that this thing will work as well. So after your Having a gun fight, you can heal yourself up. Alright, so let's move down there. 
Oh, you have two elevators, by the way. Uh, one can access to, like, um, outside. The other one, in here, like this one, you cannot. You can only access to the lower deck or upper deck here, okay? Here or down there. Yeah, I'm glowing again. Hmm. Okay, left hand side, in here, is a cargo bay. This is the place. Yeah, this is a place for you to load your vehicle, your rock. And these are, I think, is the uh, uh, like the area for you to stack up your cargo, like 40 SE of cargo, which is nice. You don't need to like put on the ground, so to block your own path, that's a very good idea. And you got some uh, places for you to uh, like um, store your armor. So before you walk outside, no matter it's like hot environment or cold environment, you can choose one kind of armor. So I got a cold suit right now because my fan broke, just lost my backpack, which is a, one of a common uh, bug. Which is lucky for me because I found that um, this cold suit got more capacity, like backpack capacity, than the heat suit, the hot suit, the Pembroke one, which is nice. But anyway, you can change your armor or like your clothes, your suit. That's a very, very good idea. This panel is not useful. So let's... Where did I just come from? Here or there? Yeah, I think this one is my place. Okay, so this one. This is the most thing I really hate about the ship. All right, let me talk about a few things, okay? First, what is this? Oh, cigar. Uh, Cohiba. And uh, never mind. It's not about this cigar, okay? Cigar is just like what I found now. Okay. First thing, it's about the design of the bed. bed. Uh, I mean the bed. Look, the pillows. Why they put it like this? So are you suggesting like you can ask three of your friends to sleep here with you? Like uh, maybe two of your friends to sleep with you? Like you're lying in the middle while you two of your friends like sleeping at the side of you? Who who need these pillows like this? Like three pillows? Why? Okay, so this is number one. I hate this ship. Secondly, this bed uh, you, is kind of buggy. So sometimes when I lie on it, I I got my backpack lost, right? I lost my backpack. Do you know the, why I got it lost? Because I lied on this bed. Yes, after I lied on it, I kind of sunk like beneath the bed, inside of the bed. When I woke up, my backpack is lost. I don't know why it lost, but um, maybe it's about the bed. Maybe it's the other things, but I will, I will blame, uh, I mean, not brain, but blame. I will blame the bed because I got my backpack lost. Yeah, which I spent like half an hour to get from here to um, like Microtech, the space station above Microtech, and get back to here, which is annoying. Yeah, thanks to your bed. Okay, the third thing I don't like about this ship. Uh, this room is look this is a room right what is the meaning of this room like you have no curtains in here you I I'm not judging anyone who sleep without clothing or maybe you need to change your clothes when you are sleeping right when you go to sleep where's the curtain anyway there's no curtain at all it's just like yeah take a look I'm rich anyway so why like uh yeah, just take a look. Come on. Like that? Are you trying to say like that? No, right? So, uh, please put a sub curtain. Or maybe you can let us to, like, have a chance to choose it. Don't just give me a glass like this and I need, I need to, like, sleep here. Like, space is dangerous, right? Maybe in the future you got some, like, uh, flying whales or, like, some flying octopus or something like that. Imagine the one who just woke up in here, like the master of the ship, woke up and all of a sudden, all he can see is like a very giant octopus thing, like, kind of appeared right in front of the glass. 
What will he or she think? It's awful. Anyway, never mind. Oh, got more drinks? <laughs> wow. Okay, please don't drink too much. Okay, now let's move on to the other side of the ship here. Yeah, I still have something need to show it to you guys. Here, crew quarter. Hmm. Okay, so let me tell you one thing I don't like about this is you got plenty of space, right? In luxury, like uh, it's r like kind of the feeling is like you've got a lot of money to build this one, right? And your poor crew members, like your crews, need to sleep in here, like what? Like a cell? Expensive version of a cell? Is it what you're suggesting? Why they have no privacy? Yeah, that that's all they got. Like no privacy at all. That's awful. And the light here. Look at the light. It's just like putting a light on their face when they are sleeping. Is it too much? Yeah. If you like take a look at my um, video about like um, 100 series, like 125A, you will see the lighting is not enough, right? But this lighting is too much. What happened to like Origin? Anyway, it doesn't make sense. Okay, so let me tell you something it doesn't make sense at all, like uh, based on this one, okay? So you can see there's no privacy at all, right? So no matter your crew is a female or a male, it's just like uh, you need to share the same room. You need to change in here and then uh, like everyone look at each other. Right? Okay. Let's get to it first, okay? I don't care about these first. Look at here. Uh, did you guys realize something? If you don't, um, you can take a look at my uh, Starfarer video. You will know it. Your crew don't even have, your crews don't even have their own private uh, private space. They need to change in front of each other. Yeah, no matter if males or females, right? And now you design something like this. Really? A male bathroom and a female bathroom. What's the point anyway? Like, I don't get it. Yeah, so can't they just use the same bathroom so that it would be easier? They, they, they don't have a much, like the size of the crew is not that big, right? So you have four people only. I do think they have a chance to like, uh, like, uh, like having bath one by one instead of like, what like if you have three crew mem like three males and one female uh yeah three males in here and th one female is it is it fair or maybe you have three females or one male I don't know is it fair like I don't understand why they decide like this and the most ridiculous thing is where's the master bathroom. So are you suggesting the master of the ship need to need to come down here and like fight against their crew members in order to get one of get into one of these bathroom? Is that what you're suggesting? That's super odd anyway. Yeah, so I don't know why they did a sign like this. But yeah. Mm, in here you got something, well, logical still, is these escape pods because when you are sleeping, you may find that uh, you got a very giant octopus to try to swallow your ship and you may try to escape from the ship. So you don't want to run all the way up there, instead you will run back here and then like eject yourself. Or maybe you can choose to sit here to like watching someone to eject like themselves outside up to you okay so that is it for all the tour about the ship it's 
So basically, I uh, walked through all the doors already. Like all the doors, all the rooms, all the comp like uh, like all the places around this ship. And uh, as a as a ship that is like um, like CIG designed like very early as a luxury ship, I do think that uh, CIG need to improve a little bit. I won't blame them. I just many things I don't like. And um, if anyone wants to like fly the ship or support this game, it costs you well with real money, okay? It costs you four hundred and seventy-five dollars currently. Yeah, I don't know in the future, but currently it's four hundred seventy-five dollars in game. Yeah, I would suggest you to fly in game first, but even in game is doesn't make any sense to buy this ship currently, especially Pyro is not exist right now. Uh, yeah, so in game it costs you about nine million in game credit. As this kind of ship, like uh, with three size five fixed cannon, uh, laser cannon, I would say it's not worth it, and with a size three shield, it's not worthy because. If you talk about firepower, I think the Constellations series can do better because you can swap up some of your size 4 gimbal weapons into size 5 fixed weapons, which can provide more firepower than uh, this ship. And if you talk about missiles, yeah, Constellations can bring more deadly firepower than this ship. And uh, even though you got uh, like turrets, like uh, asking your co pilots to like man the turrets, still constellations can do better. I don't know about the firepower, the size of the weapon on the turrets, but at least one thing, like uh, for example, like um, constellations Andromeda or constellations like Phoenix, these kind of ships, they got two turrets, one up, one down, and they can provide more firepower like facing forward and your surrounding than this ship so and the price point at least not f i mean not for phoenix but the other constellations i think you can buy two of them already if you're using like nine million in-game credits the phoenix cost you like five million something so uh, phoenix can only buy one anyway and uh, yeah, so if you want to try it out, of course you can. With 40 SE of cargo, do some trading. Maybe it's, if you think it's good, then it's good. But I don't think it is. But anyway, uh, yeah. So if you talk about the price point, I won't suggest people to buy the ship. Yeah, you've got more um, suitable ships for um, this kind of role. Like fighting, like you can... You can spend money on the like, constellation Andromeda, which is like 3.5 million in-game credits only, and you can use like you got more firepower and the same size, uh, same shield ca capacity. So yeah, but anyway, this is it for this video, and if you like it, uh, feel free to leave a like, and if you think I need to improve something or maybe you want to ask something feel free to leave some comments down below all right so i shall see you guys next time of more ship tour or maybe location tour all right yeah so that is it and see you next time bye bye